I'm Andrew, and I'm setting out to make better videos for diesel enthusiasts. Follow along as I review products, do how-tos, and share my personal trucks here on Just Diesels. Today, we are going to tackle one of the most disputed topics in diesel trucks. For some reason, regearing with 37s or just any larger tire has become like the hot topic. I see it on Instagram, I see it on Facebook, I see it on YouTube. Everywhere that people post trucks with you know, larger than stock tires, someone is there commenting, did you regear that truck? You have to regear that truck. You're gonna ruin that truck if you don't regear. So today, we are going to settle this debate once and for all. And if you are on the fence about doing 37s or whether or not you should regear, this video will answer that question once and for all. Now, before we get any further in this video, let's talk about why you would want to run 37s. So one, they look cool, right? They fit proportionally with the size of these big trucks. Um, they look awesome. But two, the big reason to run 37 inch tires is one, you get improved rollover. So the larger the diameter of the tire is, the easier it rolls over obstacles like rocks or holes or anything like that. So you get a smoother ride and you're actually more capable. And then two, the only way to get an axle of a vehicle farther away from the ground is with increased tire size. So you can lift a truck to the moon, but if you're trying to get the axles farther away from the ground for better ground clearance, especially in a solid axle vehicle, the only way to do that is with larger size tires. Now I'm gonna run you guys through some of my personal experiences, but before I wanna do that, I wanna actually take you guys through the hard numbers. So online, there's these great things called gearing calculators. You can use those to determine where your factory starting ratio is and what your new ratio is going to be with the larger tires. So I will link that in the description below. I will link that in the comments. You can go and check this out for yourself. But basically what we're gonna do is input your factory tire size, your factory gear ratio, and then your new tire size. What this calculator is gonna spit out at the end is your final gear ratio, your final drive ratio after the new tires. So this is actually really helpful information so that you can actually get a concrete number on what your gear ratio is starting and ending at. You can then use that information to figure out where you need to go. Now, a lot of these gearing calculators will also spit out a number that says the ratio you need to be at to go back to your factory ratio with the larger size tire. And that's a key number because I always see people online saying, you need this gear ratio or you need that gear ratio. And there is no, you need this or that. It all depends on the math. So if you wanna figure out exactly what gear ratio you need to get back to your factory gear ratio, even though you're running 37s, these calculators are going to give you a definite real answer on that. Now, let's look at my truck as an example. I have a 2006 Ram 2500. Now that truck is a 5.9 liter Cummins diesel with a 48 RE transmission. That truck comes with a 373 factory gear ratio and it originally came with 265 7017 tires. Now I put on a 37 12 and a half 20. That puts my final gear ratio to 3.19 with the new tires. In order to get back to the factor ratio, I would need to add 437 gears. Now, that's not a very common size, so I'd be choosing between 410 and 456. Now, I've had friends with this exact truck put 456 gears on, take them off to go back to 373 or 410. So here's why I'm gonna explain, you may not actually want to re-gear your truck. It all depends on how you're using it. For my personal example, I chose to not regear my truck. I stuck with the factory 373 gears, and here's why. I have a 48 RE transmission. That is a four-speed automatic transmission. I found that on the factory size tire, anything over 70 miles an hour, I was over 2000 RPM. Over 2000 RPM is actually getting out of the efficiency and kind of power band of the most torque that you're gonna get out of these engines. So I actually found that my truck was one, more efficient, and two, more pleasant to drive with the 37s on it because it lowered the RPM. Now when I'm cruising at 70 with 37s, I'm running right around like 1800 RPM to 1600, somewhere in there. And it's a lot more pleasant of an experience. At 80, I'll get up to 2000 RPM. So it actually puts my truck in a more efficient range in the power band when I'm cruising on the highway. And I actually find that I really like it. Now, I also tow with my truck. I pull a dump trailer, I'll tow, I'll tow you know, trucks and cars and stuff like that usually stuff below 10,000 pounds. So in my personal situation, I have 
no downside when I'm towing. I don't have really higher EGTs. I'm not lugging. The truck is not hunting for gears. Everything performs as it should. Um, yes, the RPMs are a little bit lower than they would be if I was on the factory tire size, but this is a diesel. They really, they don't care if you put a little bit of extra load on them. Basically, with the 37s, it would be like I was towing a 13,000 pound trailer instead of a you know 10,000 pound trailer. It, the truck doesn't really care. It's it's made to do that. It's made to haul. It's made to have a load on it, and it performs just fine with really no ill effect. Now, sometimes I'll be climbing up a hill and the truck will kind of hang on to fourth for a little bit too long, so I'll just drop it in tow haul mode. It'll go into third and lockup, and I'm doing just fine. So, for my personal case, I really have no need to re-gear. Now. I'm sure you've all heard someone online tell you that you have to regear, you have to do this, you have to do that. Don't listen to everyone online. Do what you think works best for your truck. If you go on this online gearing calculator and you see that the ratio it spits out really isn't that far off from what you're at, run 37 see how your truck drives. I guarantee you, you probably won't want to regear. Most of these trucks that I see, most of my friends on 37s are not regeared. Their trucks drive just fine, everything performs as it should, you can reach overdrive, everything works great and they actually like their trucks better because they operate a little bit lower in the RPM band. Now, I'm not saying that's the absolute way to go. If you feel strongly about re-gearing, by all means, go ahead and re-gear. I'm not gonna tell you it's wrong. You are reducing the mechanical load on your truck. You are absolutely putting it back to where it was designed to be from the factory. I'm just saying that on a diesel truck, you can actually get away without re-gearing because these trucks are designed to tow, they are designed to haul, and they are designed to have a little bit of increased load on the engine. Now, if we're talking about like a Tacoma, right? It's a small V6. Yeah, you're gonna wanna re-gear because doing a 37 alone, just the added rotational mass of that tire is gonna put a lot of strain on the V6. But in a big diesel, it has 600 to 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. They really don't care. They're doing just fine with 37s. So I just wanted to walk you guys through that. I wanted to give you my personal example, show you guys an online gearing calculator, and show you guys how to get a concrete number of what your new gear ratio is, what ratio you need to actually get back to factory. So I give you guys all the information to make the decision on your own. I can't tell you if you should re-gear your truck. That's ultimately a decision up to you. But I can tell you that you probably should drive it on 37s, see how it feels, and probably nine times out of 10, I see people not re-gear. Unless you're towing huge trailers regularly or hotshot guy, something like that, which you probably shouldn't even be on 37s anyway, um, that's probably when you're gonna wanna re-gear. But for most of these guys that are running empty trucks, especially the guys that are using them for like overlanding, camping, and things like that, there's really not a huge reason to re-gear. I'm very happy on my factory 373 gears with 37s, and I have no intention of changing that. So hopefully that helps you guys make a decision for your own. That was my personal decision. You can say I'm wrong, but my truck, and I'm very happy with it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment below if you plan on re-gearing, if you have re-geared, if you haven't. Let's, let's get a discussion going. I'd love to hear from you guys and see how you feel about re-gearing on these diesel trucks. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully it helps shed a little bit of light on the subject and uh, maybe it'll end some arguments, maybe it'll start some more. So thank you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please comment below, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.